In this video, I'm going to show how to retrieve and plot data from the USGS website using RStudio. The USGS site that we're using is the James River at Galena, Missouri, and it has a USGS site number of 0705-2500. We are going to be pulling off the discharge, and this is the average daily discharge. And the discharge has a code of 00060. And here you can see this is what the data looks like for the daily mean discharge. And you also see that this data retrieval package makes it very easy to pull data off of the USGS site. So there's two packages in RStudio that I'm going to be using. One is data retrieval. The other is ggplot2. So we need a few parameters to use the data retrieval package. One is the site number, which we saw was 0705-2500. Our parameter code for discharge is 00060. And we put in a start date and an end date. Here you can see that we're pulling data from January 1st of 2011 to December 31st of 2011. So for the entire year of 2011, uh, we're gonna pull this daily mean discharge. Now we developed this variable daily Galena flow. And we use this command from data retrieval uh, to read NWISDV. So if we go to the one of the documents, there's a lot of documents online that you can use to find out more about the data retrieval package. So if we go to this site, We can see that the DV is for daily values, and this is the function read NWIS data. So DV is for daily data, IV is instantaneous. You can pull off groundwater levels, water quality levels, but we're pulling off daily values for this one. So our code is gonna read read NWIS DV, and then we just put in the parameters. So we have our site number, parameter code, start date, and end date. So if that was the end of your code and that's what you um, were wanting to do, then it would pull the data in, but then you really haven't done anything with the data. So to show that we can actually do something with this data, we're going to use another package called ggplot2. And we tell uh, the program what we want to plot. So we want to plot this daily Galena flow that we pulled off from the USGS site now this AES is for aesthetic mapping and basically all that is doing is uh, saying how, how we want the variables that are in the data uh, to be displayed. And so for our X value, we want daily Galena flow, we want the date. And then for the Y values, we want daily Galena flow and this is the actual values. Now the 0003 stands for mean values. And if we go back to the document, we can see that there is a, uh, that it was in table three of this document where it actually shows the commonly code, uh, commonly used USGS stat codes. So basically one is maximum, two is minimum, three is mean, and um, eight is median. Uh, so that's some of the codes that, that you can use. And for this case, we are using three for the mean. Now you might be wondering, well, how would I know to put in this dollar sign date and then all the, this part of the code also? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to retype this and we'll just delete it after, but to show that our studio can actually help to prompt you on what you need. So there you could see that as I started typing in daily Galena flow that uh, popped up. Um, now it's for the aesthetic mapping. Again, daily Galena flow. And if you put in the dollar sign, um, you have now, it now shows all the parameters that are available. So for X, we want date. And then if I do it again for daily Galena flow and then do the dollar sign, then this is what we want. Basically, it's the values, and you remember that the 00060 was for discharge, and then the 3 was for mean. 
So we can put that in also. So that's where R Studio is very helpful in um, helping you to develop the code. I'm going to delete this. We don't need that anymore. And then um, we also tell it that we want this to be a line chart or line graph. So if we did everything right, we should be able to hit Control Shift Enter to get the entire code to run. And you'll see here that it now plots the values for the year 2011. And there's a lot more commands that you can do to make this plot look nice. So you can change the color, add um, grid lines, and obviously you probably want to change the uh, x-axis title and the y-axis title. Uh, so hopefully you found this video to be helpful. If so, please subscribe to the channel and you'll get notifications when I put up videos dealing with water resources topics or other engineering topics or data analysis. And thanks for watching this one.